guys. So, um, second day of, well, second weekend actually, of working on the caravan box. I've actually had to bring it inside, so I'm in my spare room currently. I've got no room in my shed and the doors keep blowing and everything, so I've had to bring it inside. Probably not the best thing in the world, but I'm going to open the window um, and I'm going to give it a quick sand um, and then slap some gel coat on it and see how it looks. So I've got myself one of these masks. Uh, sorry about the state of my hair, it's a proper state. Um, just in my scruffs, joggers, top and everything. Um, yeah, so I've got myself one of these um, for when I'm sanding the fiberglass. Um, I'll try and be a bit safer. Um, gel coat that I've got. Um, this is the gel coat. Turn around for a bit better light. There you go, gel coat. I've uh, not actually used this stuff before. I bought it when I bought the caravan because I had a feeling that some of the bits on it would probably need, you know, touching up here and there. Um, the van's actually just outside. Through the blinds. There she is. Just the top of her. She needs a good wax and everything. I'm going to pop through that skylight one day and give her a good machine polish on the top and a good wax. This is what we've got um, to work with. We're inside, obviously. That's dry. All that's dry. That's going to need some. Obviously, where it's gone rusty there, I'm going to try and sand some of that off. And maybe put some on it to protect it. I don't know what yet, but we'll see. I've got a wire, a wire brush there, an attachment to go on my drill. So we'll we'll do something with that, tidy it up. But today the plan is to sand this and then gel coat it over the top with this stuff. There you go, gel coat. Okay, so I've got some 400 grit sandpaper here. I think it's 400, yep, yeah, 400 grit sandpaper. I'm going to give this a bath. Let's see what's what with it. That's not too bad. Can you have a bash with this? So I've sanded off the worst of the sticking out bits of fiberglass. Don't want it to be perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just the inside of the of the box. So I'm not too bothered about you know it not being 100 percent perfect. It's a damn sight better than what it was already. It's a lot stronger. Um you know, and then we get some paint on it, or gel coat, I think it'll be alright laughing because the instructions on this stuff are brilliant oh and let me just let me just show you this okay so how how on earth are you meant to read that yep no idea with a magnifying glass maybe because I certainly can't read it and my vision isn't that bad. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to get this tin open. Pain in the ass. It's probably going to take me longer to get the tin open than it is to actually do the job. Oh, there we go. <laughs> open. Oh, it smells. Ooh, open the window. So I've opened the window. Uh, that window. Open, blinds up, ventilation, keep safe and all that. I look like a duck with this on my head. Um, I can't read the instructions for it. So I'm thinking that you just slap this in there and mix it with some hard night. It's actually gone quite hard already. Um, 
I'm thinking maybe mix this in there, top the ironer in, whiz it round, slap it on, see how it goes. It's actually gone quite hard already. I think it's been sat in the shed for quite a while. Maybe some air's got in it. I don't know if it's supposed to be that dry, but I'll give it a stir. Kitchen knife. Don't tell the missus. Yeah, so I slap that in there, like that. Give it a stir around with the knife. I have no idea if this is where it's supposed to look like. It's uh, It's been sat in the shed for over a year, just over a year, I think. Or about a year. Um, I don't even know. I'm, I'm assuming it's not supposed to be this thick. Um, I'm thinking maybe it's, it has actually got a lifespan on it that you're supposed to use it within a certain time frame. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use it all because I can always buy another tub if need be. So we're just gonna. I'm just gonna use it all. I've got it, so I might as well use it. I should have just, I think I should just tip that hard and straight into this and mix it from in here. It saves a lot of mess. Stick that in there. Right. Yeah. Stick the hardener in. Well, I'm assuming it's hardener. I've used the full thing, so we'll use the full thing of this. There we go. That in. Give it a mix. There we go. Give it a good mix. A good old mix. It's dead thick. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. Anybody's ever used this stuff? Oh, let me know if it's supposed to be this thick because it's mega mega thick that didn't think it'd be like that like I say I wonder if it's started to go off because it's been sat too long in the shed I'm giving it a see, see there see what it looks like in there so it's you know it's let's see how we go with it right there we are a good mix. Yeah. <laughs> Ruined the knife. <laughs> okay, so I've dabbed my brush in it. I'm going to end up with this everywhere, aren't I? Oh, wow, that's thick as anything. That's like super, super thick. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Got it all over my hands already. Look at that. Look at that. What a messy bugger. Oh, I hope it comes off okay. I'll soon find out when I end up with white hands for like the rest of the week. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and get a glove or something. Okay, so I've got my gloves on. <laughs> So I have to say this paintbrush is going to be no good after this. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. Super thick. Let's move you back there a bit. Yeah, I'm not bothered about it being 100% perfect, I just want it 
safe and secure. No rot. That's what the plan is for this. I'm almost certain that this is... It's started to go off already, I think. don't think it should be this thick. But, we'll see. Get painted. Give it a couple of days. And then see. It's starting to set solid in there already. Bloody hell. How not to use gel coat. This would be the perfect demonstration. I don't know if it was too thick when I first put it in or whether it started to go off or what, but it's gone like cottage cheese, basically. <laughs> it's a fucking mess. Um, I'll leave it a couple of days, leave it, try and sand it off and see what it looks like. Also, yeah, don't know if that's going to come off. We'll see. So this is where it looks like. That bit doesn't actually look too bad. Ignore the rusty hinge. I'm going to sort that out. That bit, yeah, and then look. Cottage cheese, all the way along. Cottage, I think I've just mixed way too much. And obviously it's set solid. And it's a crock of shit. Basically. I'm going to come back to it tomorrow. See, give it a sand, have a look. There was a hole there. So I just slapped some in the hole. I'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, so this is the state of the hinges. I'm going to have a go at uh, just tidying them up a little bit. Don't worry about that. Just don't look.